Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to do a quick unboxing. I felt drawn to this deck for quite some time now. It's the Cosmic Pearl Oracle. I just got it on Amazon. And I have to say, the past few days, I've been feeling really called to work with the Siren Archetype and I'm just feeling incredibly pulled and drawn in by this archetype. I have to admit I'm not a mermaid girl or a siren girl so this is kind of strange for me but I do feel a really strong pull to work with this archetype and I'd say a couple of days ago I casted an incredibly powerful glamour magic spell and ever since then I felt this energy step in and I felt this incredible pull and I just I felt like it was time to work with this deck I f I think that this deck will be not just useful for working with the water element but also for working with this archetype I'm just going to start the unboxing. So it came shrink wrapped in plastic. I usually use a craft knife, but mine is not the greatest. So I'm just using a pair of scissors and I'm hoping that I don't damage the box because I like to keep <laughs> my decks in their boxes when I'm not actively working with the deck. Ooh. Look at the backing. It came sealed in plastic as well so that the cards don't move around. Also look at the edging. It's gorgeous. It's it's like a metallic blue with some with some shimmer. Very secure. I have to use the scissors to cut the little plastic sleeve that came with the cards to keep them from moving around in the box. The guidebook is the same size as the cards, so it fits really nicely in the box. Okay, this looks like an art curated deck. I'm pretty sure most of the artwork featured in this deck is um, their older pieces of art. There's an introduction, how to use the cards, single card pull, three card spread, five card spread, and then there it goes into the card meanings. You get a small reproduction, you get, wow, you get some keywords. Activating practice, and then I, I'm assuming you get you get a couple of paragraphs of uh, card meaning. So, as always with my deck unboxings, we will do a card pull, and then I will read from the guidebook so we can all get an idea of how the guidebook works. But it looks pretty decent so far from what I can see. So I'm really excited to start the unboxing. It's really pretty so far. From the images that I could see online. So you can see a lot of different historical art pieces. From what I could see online, this deck has a very dreamy energy to it. It's very ethereal, um, very elusive, mysterious, and also very connected to the water element. Oops. So the cardstock's quite thick. It's 
it's very dreamy, very fantasy. There's Circe in the back. The cardstock. Hold on a second, let me just get it. It's very, I'd say it's a satin. Uh, yeah, it's soft. I'd say it's a satin. It's very soft. Thick cardstock. Kind of slippery. There is nudity in this deck. I could see people working with Venus with this deck as well. It's very Venetian. I don't personally work with Venus and I feel intuitively that Venus might have a face that's almost siren-like. If you work with Venus and you happen to be familiar with this aspect of her, can you put in the comments section below if, if this is a face? <laughs> that you're familiar with. Wow, this one's pretty. A lot of pastel colors. It's interesting to have a deck now in my collection that connects with that more dreamlike um, like energy that the water element can have. I tend to have or gra and gravitate towards the more intense, at least in, a, in an emotional sense, um, the, those decks that are more associated with the water element. <laughs> I don't have... Um, a dreamy deck at least um an oracle deck now that i'm thinking about it i do have um, a more dreamy tarot deck that i think will pair well with this deck i, I haven't touched this deck in so long guys um maybe i'll whip it out to work with this deck This deck has Piscean energy, for sure. So I'm curious to work with this deck to see what comes through. Sorry, I just went so quiet. I'm just amazed at this artwork. I, I find it very beautiful, very captivating. It really draws you in. If you like this kind of dreamy artwork, you will definitely like this deck. And it's on sale right now on Amazon. I think I picked it up for 
26 or 28 dollars Canadian so if you're American this deck is gonna be even cheaper for you oh the last card <laughs> So I think that this is going to be a very practice supportive deck. I'm just going to pull a card now. I could just tell that it's a very practice supportive deck by just looking at the guidebook. So Swan Medicine, Adaptability, Confidence and Focus. So you do get keywords on the deck. Also has a lot of pearl energy, as you can see there's pearls featured on the backs of the cards as well as the fronts of the cards. It's number 30, so it's really easy to find your card. Um, it's numbered in order, so it's very easy to find your card. So it's swan medicine, the swan is a symbol of trust, has a pure heart, and mates for life. The white swan is rela related to light, grace, and purity, and the black swan is a representation of the occult and the dark feminine. The swan's adaptive adaptability skills are amazing. The ability to adjust to new conditions is something we all wish to hold space for. You may be going through a move physically of a huge energetic shift. This message is coming through to remind you to stay focused on the things that matter to you and that are important to you right now. Your ability to easily adapt will usher you through any hurdles you may face or tedacious task that you do not wish to take part in. Move forward with grace, flexibility, and without high, without too high of expectations. Attempt to find the light in those treacherous situations. All is working out in your favor and this in-between movement will soon come to an end. Time will heal. Time will change. Not everything can stay the same. Say yes to life, say yes to fear and how you make it disappear. The waves of change will soften you expand your awareness and caution you but if you keep an open mind what's meant for you will never be left behind so there is a little poem that's cute activating practice so this is why i think it's going to be a great practice or i guess a supportive practice deck there is an activating practice association with each card so this one is signs from spirit practice Ask your spirit team to send you three specific signs this week. Release expectations as to how or when you will receive them. Open yourself up to these signs and be on the lookout. Ask for one white dove, one black dove, and one pink rose. When you see them, you will intuitively know they are meant for you. They may come in just about any form. Keep your heart and your mind open. So I feel like you can use that last sentence as an affirmation as well. So this is a very interesting deck. It's very unique and it stands out in my collection. It's, it's very interesting. I'm very excited to get to know the personality of the deck and the energy of the deck and work in alignment with this new siren archetype that's come through. I do believe that this siren archetype is connected to glamour magic and she is probably going to have i guess more advanced teachings i also can feel an energetic shift happening within my practice especially with the presence of this new archetype it makes sense i think so i do find that the message that i got from that card did kind of correlate to that i, I found that interesting so some decks that I think might work well, I have the Flow Tarot here. I've actually been working with this deck since I felt that pull to work with the Siren archetype. 
So I've been working with this for the past couple of days since I felt really connected to the siren. So I think that it would work really well with this new or Oracle deck. Use some images of them together. The one that I actually just remembered that I have in my collection, I haven't pulled this deck in so long. I have the Enchanted Dreams Tarot. I purchased this a very long time ago. I don't even know if it's still available. It's by Red Feather. And they come in this, it came in like a very huge box, similar to the Llewellyn decks. Comes with a, a nice guidebook, comes with full, sorry not full, page reproductions, but it does come with a color reproduction. The deck is really large though, that's the thing, it's I think bigger than the Oracle deck. <laughs> so that could be an issue for some people, but it is gilded. Uh, the cardstock's really thick. I just, I don't really like this deck because the images look stretched. But I'm curious to work with this deck along with the, the Oracle, the Cosmic Pearl Oracle to see how they work together. They both have that dreamy energy. Here's them side by side. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how this deck works with some of my other decks, especially the decks that I tend to gravitate towards more, like the Witch Sister Tarot and, and lately um, the Tarot of the Hidden Realms as well. Those decks I've been working with on repeat constantly. I just recently whipped out the Flow Tarot, so I'm kind of curious to see how it works with that uh, tarot deck as well. Um, as well as just on its own. I'm really curious to get to know the deck. I'm really excited. I think that it's a very, it has a very beautiful color story. And I, I don't know, I'm just really, I'm looking forward to getting to know the deck. The gilding is beautiful. What is that, like a peri, periwinkle blue, I'm pretty sure. So, really excited about that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.